Hey guys, welcome to your video. Today I'm showing you my new cliff and the first three fights will be ranked matches and then I did a slight change on my comp. So yeah, I will show you the rooms afterwards. But yeah, this first one, they took my Bastet, so I'm going to fight speed against him and I gladly won the, the speed fight and now I'm risking a revenge proc from, from the bird, which didn't happen, that was amazing but I failed to strip Birdie Hell as well, so yeah, that was very bad. And well, now since Birdie Hell is not stripped, I'm risking revenges with every attack that I do. And yeah, this team relies on RNG much more than my previous cleave, and I don't like that. But this first fight went quite well for me, even though he got violent procs, and you know he got resistances but it was very good for me as well so yeah i let you watch the end of this because you know that birdie hell will cause me a ton of troubles And for the second fight, I first pick Okeanos because that's the way I draft now. And he took my Savannah, so I take his Bastet. And I go with Ken, and I decide to go on to the new Tableau and Jamire style of comp that I'm using. Because now my Tableau is not on, wheel, on Swift Runes, he's on Violent Runes, and he goes last. And my Jamire is actually on Swift Rune, on, on Violent Runes too, but now Jamire is faster than Tableau, so that my team is tuned so so that my Tableau goes last, and then I can take a full other turn, then my Jamire resets everyone, then my Tableau makes me get a third turn, so, you know, that's a lot of turns before the opponent moves, and that's what I love about this cliff, especially when I fight teams like that, that if I outspeed, I will most likely beat. And for that last attack of Jamire, I, I should have done the second skill, targeting the Chompong. I think I could have killed the Chompong and killed the Savannah if I didn't get the proc. So yeah, I got the proc, that was great, and now I won. I basically won this. Now, for the third one, he starts with Vanessa, which is a weird first pick nowadays. And I go for the Bastet Okeanos, and he moves into a different kind of comp, a comp that's actually about resisting more than, than attacking. And yeah, I went for the Tableau Jamire, and here they will shine. And I will take a turn with Bastet, then I reset that thing, and I realized that the Veromos is on Nemesis runes which is really, really bad for me, really bad for me. And that was, that was really bad. Now the Veromos will take a turn and if he had stunned me, then I will have lost. I will have most likely lost. So yeah, that was a clutch resistance on my part. So I can't complain about RNG this fight at all, at all. And yeah, it happens, of course, sometimes it goes you know, RNG goes both ways, especially when you're fighting a, a human being, you know? You can't complain about the, 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 the AI defense getting more, more procs than you. And now this is my new type of comp. I decided to move my Bastard Rooms into Chiwu thanks to a, a Yieldmate Top 9 who told me to try that. I, I am trying that. These are not ranked matches. I am still trying this new cliff. And yeah. Seems like Colonel doesn't do much. He didn't get the stuns on the units that mattered. So yeah, that's RNG. That's RNG. It happens. So and I failed to strip the Garo. I got the revenges. And yeah, things didn't go too well here. Things didn't go too well. I failed to strip with my with my with my Gemini. 
because Gemini has one buff less than that bastard, so he should have streaked one buff. Yeah, guys, sometimes it happens. On the previous fight, I got good RNG. Now in this one, I get bad RNG. But I liked how this, this comp worked against this one. So, so yeah, even though I will end up losing this because, you know, I can't kill this guy with the RNG that I got, even though that happened and even though I will lose this fight, I think this comp is very nice. So I will try, try it twice again against two other guys on, on the on the goodwill battles and yeah i will show you right after this and here we are another conqueror three a fair fight and a meta fight he's using a meta cliff so i have two speed leaders and he has one strong speed leader but i have I have a counter to strippers, and now <laughs> my runes turned out to be much better than his because I outsped even with a lower speed leader, a 9% lower speed leader, which is huge. So yeah, once once I defense broke and with the speed buff, Shimite deals a ton of damage, and I changed the runes of Shimite to give him my best damage dealing runes that can give speed at the same time, so now Mishimite has plus 160 speed, almost a 100% crit rate, I think 99% crit rate, and some nice attack, some nice crit damage, so he deals a ton of damage with his second skill, so that rate. And for this final fight, I moved into a slow comp, because this guy went for, for a Leo and the Birdie Hell on turn 2, so what can you do? You have to move on to a different draft. And my Kaki dealt a ton of damage. And well, here a proc from Belanos will have been great, but I did not get the proc. So yeah, all in all, very nice, very nice test. So I will show you the runes. And these guys are not the runes of my Bastet. Actually, they are not the runes that you saw in this video. She had the runes that now Chiwa has, this set. So she was on plus 218. And that's why I outsped a Conqueror 2 player with my Bastet. So, now, these are the runes that I'm using on Chiwu, and that's why now Chiwu, Chiwu is much faster than Bastet with this set, because remember that Chiwu has 103 base, so he has plus, two eight, plus 219, which means that he has five more speed than my Bastet with the same set. So I'm on 222 speed with Chiwu which is huge, so Bastet was on 217, on 317, and she was on 322. So now I can outspeed some boosters, some strong boosters, on, I, I won't say on equal leaders, but if I have a 33 leader, then it will be very hard for an Ashir to outspeed my Chiwu. However, people may realize that and ban the Chiwu because he is one of the units that makes much sense being the first one to attack. However, when you pair him up with a Ken, then people may think that the Ken is the fastest one. And, you know, that can play with people's minds and they have to gamble this. I don't know, guys. I will have to test this more, but I hope you enjoyed it. And, of course, this is a fast comp, you know? It's a cliff. It's not made to, to crowd control the opponent all the time and kill units one by one. This is built to kill everything, you know, to defense break everything with my Savannah and to kill everything with my, with my Shimite or maybe with my Kaki, you know? So, yeah, and of course, I still have the Tableau Jamar option if I see that it actually fits the current meta or the current comp that I'm facing. And I added Kernel as well, and I added, added Belenus, which is great against low comps that don't have immunity or when I have two strippers and I know that I will strip them, so Belenus can actually kill a full team by himself. Awesome unit. And I add in Heian as well, so that I have a counter against the strip comps as well. So he's a must ban or maybe the unit that gives me the win, boosting the, the attack bars of all my units. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I will be very happy to reply as always. Guys, see you all in the next one. Bye bye.